is Castillo. Dutch fullback who loves to get forward. And they've got Sterling to the right here. Here's Dujon Sterling. To pull it back. Men waiting. Here's James. Sends it in again and up bow. Turns it in and Chelsea strike first. E.K. Oppo once again, he scored in the first leg and he finds the net in the second. They're not letting him settle at the moment, Tottenham. Jack Rolls, clever pass into Sterling, chance spurned. Good save from Thompson. And again, they're in trouble. And it's Oppo again. It's Chaloba. Chaloba with a goal. He doesn't score often for Chelsea, but he has now, and surely the tie is over. So important now that this delivery from Rolls is good. It's a poor delivery from Rolls, but it might still bounce nicely now then. He points to the spot. Penalty for Tottenham. So Keziah Sterling, who scored in the first leg, there's the chance to get Tottenham back into this contest. Sterling, oh, that's a fantastic save by Jared Thompson. And a blow to Tottenham Hotspur. Well, that's a massive blow because there's big moments in games and that was a big moment for Spurs and Sterling in particular. And what way? And Chelsea have another opening here, and McEachern through a goal, round the goalkeeper, but denied by the post. Sterling. Sterling, on he goes, and the referee points to the spot again. Another penalty, but this time it goes the way of Chelsea. Now, Chelsea missed a penalty on Tuesday. Wasn't taken by Ugbo. He's got a chance for his second of the game. It's Ugbo with Chelsea's fourth. And they are running away with this one now. What quick. Well taken by Castillo again. And off he goes again. And he's got the strength and pace. And the delivery, and Sterling! Another well-crafted goal from Chelsea. They strike first in the second half. It's 6-1 on aggregate, and Dujon Sterling gets on the score sheet. That's an Adoy, and he can go it alone here. Through a goal, the substitute to make an immediate impact. It's five up for the Junior Blues. They are cruising to the final. They are putting Tottenham to the sword. And it's Callum hudson Adoy, one of the youngest men in the team. And they might be in again. Ugbo looking for his hat-trick. He deserves one. He was caught. It doesn't matter. He does get his hat-trick. E.K. Oppo again for Chelsea. Well, he's done brilliant there, but initially it was the ball from Mason Mount. He fires it through into the path of Sterling. His pace takes him away from Marsh. Marsh tries to clip his ankles just as he's about to finish. Watch this slide rule pass brilliantly delivered by Mason Mount. Sterling's pace takes him away from Marsh. He tries to clip his legs. He keeps his balance. He keeps his composure and he scores a third. A wonderful hat-trick from the striker. Six nil. Might be one back here for Tottenham, though. And Gerald sticks it in. Oh, well, well, nothing more than a consolation set, but Rolls is in there. <laughs> Hudson-Odoi. Hudson-Odoi, lovely pass, Castillo deserves a goal, and he gets one. A magnificent seven 
for Chelsea. And a very, very, very well-deserved goal from the Dutchman Juan Castillo. There's the full-time whistle that couldn't come soon enough for Tottenham Hotspur. Thoroughly vanquished by a very, very dominant Chelsea performance. A hat-trick for Ike Agbo. And goals from Trevor Chaloba, Juan Castillo, Dujon Sterling and substitute Callum hudson Adoy. All part of a very, very impressive Chelsea display in both legs. The scoreline isn't flattering by any means and Chelsea are through to yet another Youth Cup final. The reigning champions have won the last three editions of this tournament and they look well set to score and to add another, a fourth in a row perhaps.